Um, say Subhanallah. <coughs> Try to say Subhanallah a hundred times a day. Holy Prophet, please be him be upon him and his family. Said a treasure of the unlimited treasures of paradise. Ours is la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Also, the companion of the Holy Prophet Abu Dhar says five things are under the treasure house of the Almighty Lord, which is under the ninth heaven. The love to love and to be close to the poor and the downtrodden, downtrodden, and to look at those in the world of lower rank, not higher. To keep con to keep contact with family and tribal blood and to never ask any person anything over anything to speak the truth and even though it would be bitter to others and I was commanded me to say la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah so much so so much I remember, yeah. Whoever reads certain mulk will get protection from the torture of the grave, certain mulk. And if you read Surah Al Tawheed 100 times a day, 50 of your years of sins gets erased. And the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him and his family, said The inhabitants of paradise will not be grief stricken nor or sorrowful about anything they did, not, they did in this life. In the life of the, the world, except for the time they spent without being in remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Engage, the Holy Prophet said, Peace and blessed be upon him and his family, engage in the remembrance of Allah in such abundance that people see, think that you are insane because you remember so much. Um, Subhanallah. Subhanallah. And the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, and his, they went through such a hard stage that he had to tap a rope around his stomach so that he does not feel pain of hunger. And he used to always go out looking for the poor to help them. Okay, so it's very. The prophet went through very rough times, and there's like if you want a long life, you have to do three things: always family ties, so that raham, keep family ties, good to your parents, and a lot of charity. Um, remember, yeah. So one one chance this life, and then it's over. So you gotta make the most use of this life as possible. Don't make, don't waste one second. Like I said, always be in a state of remembrance of the last man Um, and remember, try like I said, yeah. Try and always cry in every single prayer. Try and make a tear come out. And remember, Allah might not give you something, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so that you keep asking Him for it. Because if He gives it to you, then you will stop asking. And Allah, Allah loves those who ask a lot. And So just imagine a tear the size of a fly comes out in your prayer, you'll get mountains of blessings for that. Um, with just one of the edge of the angel Gabriel's 600 wings, he lifted up four or five cities of Prophet Lot's people near the first sky and until 
and, and lifted it near to the first guy and told the angels in the first guy heard the crowing of the roosters and the barking of the dogs he lifted it all the way up there and then he threw it back down smashed it back down because they were homosexuals gays and all of them died that's what the angel Jibreel did to them he lifted up the earth flipped it around smashed it back down all of them got killed um yeah so it's amazing yeah. Um, just remember to always be asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for what you want because it's better than asking any other pe any, if you ask someone it will be hard for you to get what you want but when you ask the most high you'll get what you want quickly and nicely and easier and A person, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, say, a person will never enjoy the ecstasy of belief unless and until he realizes that nothing can stop whatever has been disdained for him and he will never get whatever he has not been disdained for him and the loss of this world which becomes his, which becomes a prophet in the hereafter is better in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not turn away a poor man even if all of you can give his half a day, all you can give is half a day. If you love the poor, bring them near to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring you near on the day of judgment. Near to him on the day of judgment. And only Islam says only wish to be like a person who's got knowledge and teaches it. Yes, always try and spread knowledge. Spread knowledge wherever you are, wherever you might be. Um, remember, like I said, yeah, the more there's people dying of starvation, there's orphans. You have to pay attention to these people and help them. There are angels who are feet, whose feet are in the seventh earth and upper body above the seventh sky. Imagine how big they are. The size of the angel carrying the throne is so big to describe you can't describe it, it's just too big and angels are the most numerous kind of a last creation each person, some say, I read something saying each person has eight angels who protect him from the jinn if it were not for these angels the jinn would play with a person like the person plays with a ball some angels are assigned to write how much leaves fall, some how much salam give so much people and give you salam to the prophet an angel moving revealing relieving sadness of the believers and the, the holy prophet so angel Jibreel in his true form 600 wings each of which was for each of which filled the horizon and there were multicolored pearls, pearls and rubies fall, falling from his wings and Jibreel Angel Jibreel, Jibreel told the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, if you think that I'm big, you should see Mikhail, Michael, Angel Mikhail, Mikhail. So, whoa, let's think about that. Something to think about, boy. Massive angels out there. You, know, you can't see them, and you'll see them when you die. Well, if you're lucky, you'll see the ones of heaven, but if you're unlucky, you'll see the angels of hell. Ooh. Um, remember, people don't respect a, a person who's needy or in need of them, most often. Um... And the prophet was talking, the holy prophet, peace be and blessings be upon him, was talking with an old woman for a long time. They asked him, Why are you wasting your time talking for long? He said, She was a friend of Khadija, his most beloved wife, and he used to give presents to the friends of Khadija. 